welcome into the Radiopedia reading room for day two of Radiopedia 2023. My name is Andrew Dixon and joining me, he likes the feel of the ocean and the taste of champagne. It's my co-host, Frank Gaylord. Oh, oh my God, you've jumped straight into one of my pet hates, <laughs> the If You Like Pina Colada song. Oh, oh man, God. I was I was hoping you wouldn't recognize the lyrics to that one. I was going to try and hit you with a few more lyrics and see if you could guess. I was going to go for, you know, if you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack from oh. the first movie. The first time you hear it, like the soundtrack as a general thing, you think, oh, that's really good. Then you think, oh, I know, I'll introduce the soundtrack to my kids. And then they play it for you. And I'm not going to joke. I'm not exaggerating here. Probably 2,000 times in a row. Yeah. And the Pina Colada song, for some reason, gets right up. And it's a, it's a people like it. And they say it's a song about love. It's not. It's a song about two miserable people in a failed marriage <laughs> who want to cheat on each other and want to abandon each other. And life is so terrible that even when they make this monumentous decision to start again with someone new and exciting, they end up with the same person they've become tired of. <laughs> it's just the worst song. And no 10 and 8-year-old should be playing it on repeat. They're too young. They don't know what this means. This is a song of dashed hopes. <laughs> Well, I think we can we can tick your goat off for the day. You're I done. Think so <laughs> you've done I'm it. Done. You've gone straight into it. Mic drop. <laughs> well, if you if you hate the Pina Colada song so much, why did you actually select the Pina Colada as your day two Radiopedia 2023 cocktail of the day? Well, a because I wanted to include something silly and summery because all the other cocktails are kind of classic. Mm -hmm. hard drinking Hemingway sort of drinks, <laughs> <laughs> and two because I know that you love the drink. No, that is actually not true. I love pineapples, mate. Oh. I love pineapples, not pina coladas. All right. No, no, I don't go for milky kind of things. <laughs> but no, I love pineapples because a few years ago at the conference, I did a lecture where I used the little pineapple emoji instead of protons when I was describing right. MRI signal and how it's generated and you know T2 relaxation, T1 relaxation and those kind of things. And then the pineapple kind of became the unofficial emoji of the of the conference and then we started talking about pina coladas and stuff so i think it kind ah, of so came from funny. there but no i'm not a huge fan of the pina colada that's for sure okay well let me do the cocktail quickly anyway okay so the pina colada is uh pretty much the quintessential cheesy holiday resort cocktail its name is spanish i think for strained pineapple and it originated in Puerto Rico in the 1950s and has been apparently the official national drink of Puerto Rico since 1978. Oh. I didn't know countries had official drinks. I didn't know that either. What's the Australian official drink? Like a beer, presumably. Probably. International people, they probably be like, oh, it's a Foster's, but no one in Australia actually no. drinks a Foster's That's beer, right? right? <laughs> it's only sold over overseas. We don't drink that. That's terrible. <laughs> so how do you make it? I've never made one. Oh, okay. Because I'm not really into So instead of how fruity. do you make it, how would somebody make I've it? Done, I've done some research where mm -hmm. we're going to launch the Radiopedia mixology. No, we should. We should have a separate page for cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's been done. Wiki cocktails or something. You don't need too much, but you do need a blender, which means mm -hmm. it's noisy. I don't like noise. So that's already a, a black mark against the drink for me. Except you know, a cocktail shaker. That's a nice noise. That's a good noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you need equal parts pineapple juice, coconut cream, and white rum. Mm -hmm. And you put them in the blender with some ice so that it becomes all sort of a smoothy, slushy, frothy thing. Mm -hmm. And you pour it into a glass. And there is an official pina colada glass, which is also called a, let me see, a poco grande glass. Which means... What does that look like? A bit big. It looks like a, a, a fat wine glass with a short stem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, what I, that's what I envisage when I see yeah. that. I think but that's, I mean, what the, that's what the little logo is for the cocktail of the day today, actually. And, and in fact, I think the cocktail emoji is a pina colada glass. No, so, there you go. And then you stick a pineapple wedge or a maraschino cherry or both on top. And if you have cocktail umbrellas, those little paper... Yeah. Toothpick ones. This They're essential. Is, this is the one and only time you can crack those out <laughs> and stick it on. 
<laughs> for a zero alcohol version, I suppose you just leave out the rum and you get icy coconutty pineapple juice. Yeah. Which doesn't sound terrible, I suppose. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you won't catch Ernest Hemingway drinking one of these, though. <laughs> Not at all. All right, well, that's it for the pina coladas. It's time to move on to something else. Um, so it's uh, day two of Ready Peer 2023, and it's all about chest imaging and pediatric imaging, uh, except, of course, for the 90-minute interactive case workshop, which is a trauma radiology workshop, and that features myself and Craig Hacking. So please mm-hmm. come along and uh, interact with us for that session. Uh, Gaylard, what are you going to be checking out from the day two lineup of the conference? Well, all the chess lectures are really good, actually. And I particularly like the tumor versus infection focal opacities Mm -hmm. by Miranda and connective tissue diseases related uh, interstitial lung disease by Jonathan. One, they go really well together. And two, both speakers are able to take something that is, is complicated and common and simplify it down to the point that even I got something out of it, even though I barely <laughs> report chest anymore. Yeah, yeah. I love those sort of lectures that distill, oh, there's another cocktail related part, I suppose, <laughs> that distill yep. down not only down to easy to understand ideas, but also let you understand the underlying pathophysiology more. And I think Miranda and Chung do that really yeah. well. Yep. What about you? Yeah, they get their magic swizzle stick out and do some good stuff, don't they? Um, Well, I'm going to give a shout out for something different because you've done some chess content. So I'm going to give a shout out to the pediatric session. Uh, So there's a whole lot of Jeremy Jones and John Ardu and friends in the ped session today. So there's some lumps and bumps, uh, renal masses, neonatal chest plenty of great content to check out. There's also a pediatric stroke lecture. And of course, there's the R poster sessions today. Frank, I think people really, really enjoyed and were really impressed by the day one R posters. And uh, you won't be let down by the pediatric and chest ones as well. They're an amazing quality, amazing set of posters. And a reminder that if you did miss any of the panels or the posters or the workshops from day one, they're all now available to watch on demand. So if you just head to the main conference page, uh, click on the day one button at the top of the page, you can see all of the lectures and all of those replays of of the live recorded stuff as well. So it's all there waiting for you. So Frank, we probably should wrap up this day two episode. You handled your goat earlier with the pina colada song, so I don't need yeah. to ask you for a goat today. You can, if you've got another, if you've got another one, you can save it for tomorrow, mate, because we've right. got day three coming. I've got up plenty. Don't worry. <laughs> you've got plenty of goats. I <laughs> uh, say so just quickly, how can people get in contact with us? Well, we're at Radiopedia on Twitter and Instagram, as well as Frank Gaylard and Dr. Andrew Dixon, and you can, of course also email us at podcast at radiopedia.org with any ideas and or feedback or I suppose drink suggestions although the Ooh. cocktails for the conference are set they are set there is no changing those but, but you know, 20, 2024 we might be back with a whole set right. of new cocktails so registrations for the conference remain open until the end of day five which is Friday July 28 to the end of this week so if you're enjoying what you've seen so far please do spread the word and encourage other people to register uh, help us keep this event viable into the future and if you're listening and haven't registered for the conference then get into it people are loving it and you will not be disappointed now what else can people do to help us out frank and of course you can also help us out by leaving a five-star review in the podcast app of your choosing indeed indeed time to sign off so we'll go and check out what's happening on day two here at radiopedia 2023 and then we'll be back we'll catch you all again same time, same place tomorrow in the reading room for day three of Ready Peter 2023. Stay right, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Stay rad, gay lad. I'll see you. Enjoy that pediatrics and chest, your two favourite topics. <laughs> uh, there are strokes in there. I'm okay. <laughs> there, there is, yeah, yeah. You'll enjoy that. See you, mate. Have a good day. Bye-bye.